Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome here. I'm trying to find my channel. Let's check my videos, live programs. They're not here. Oh, let me go to my channel. Found it, found it. Oh, there you go. Amy, all messages. Here we are. So, how are you? Welcome. This is Chris Quilue from Querétaro, Mexico, or Mexico, as we say in Spanish. I woke up early because I was planning to start evaluating early morning before the stream but I just did something else and I just didn't evaluate any oral productions not necessarily that I'm ready with material I just couldn't do anything during this week it's um for me, it's like four days of classes, five hours, and then supposedly Friday is free. No face-to-face -face class, but it's preparation, it's a lot of things going on. So I'm not planning to do this long for two reasons. Reason number one, I have to evaluate like 20 something videos today and finish preparing material for next week class. So that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I have Monday, <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday ready. And I still miss a little bit of Wednesday and of course complete Thursday. And reason number two, Okay. we have a uh, medium coming after me so she's going to do something very interesting and I don't want to invade her time slot hi medium hi Don welcome so here we are finishing this coloring showing you what I'm doing with the set of polychromos that I got not planning to get another one in this year I have to save for more colors and I want to test more brands you know which is really nice and this little salamander is about to be ready the only thing that I'm doing is just adding a little bit of yellow and that's it kind of meditative kind of thing I'm probably going to show you something that I found uh, recently from another channel and I think for me it's, uh, it's a really good idea. I won't have time to implement it um, right now because of all this work that I mentioned. Mm, definitely summer school is one of my favorites. Yes, it is. But it's also a lot of work. It means a lot, a lot of energy. I normally walk around and speak, stand up, move, walk for around five hours. So that's really, really nice. Okay. So I hope you're having a nice uh, Sunday, depending the time zone where you are. It could be morning, evening, afternoon. You can you can hear that it's early morning here. It's about to be six a.m. and my bird friends are singing all around. They're waking up. 
waking us up. And you'll probably be listening to not only the birds, but uh, some airplanes. The airport is nearby and early flights are about to take off. So as I go over here, I'll let you listen to my birdie friends so you can relax. If you have comments, questions, you're welcome to use the chat. And if you're watching the replay, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. I will appreciate that quite, quite much. Just in my light here. All right. I won't finish this all, okay? I will show you my other alternative. And of course, I'm going to go to Polychromos. I just want to wait for, if possible, more people to come in. Hmm. This light is very close to my face, so it's a little bit tricky. I'm trying not to burn myself. But for this time of the day, it's um, the best light to use. Here you can see the bottom of a salamander. Here it comes. For next streams, I'll try to put the camera a little bit up so I can have more room to show. But I also have this dilemma because some people like to see close up of how this is being colored. Yeah, my favorite flock of birds are, they are here, they are here. Mm, there's a big tree. And they normally sleep there. And then they come and rest a little bit on the roofs. And then they go and fly away for the rest of the day. And they come back in the afternoon. their cuties flying around. I'm not good at bird species, but these guys are quite small, black, gray, and with some red feathers in their chests. So they are so cute. And of course, Nico the cat just goes nuts at this time of the day with all these verbs going around mm. 
Yes, they are, Miriam. Very loud. And they start early in the morning. They start normally at 5 a.m. 5.30, <clears throat> dawn breaks. So that's when um, we have the first lights. But right now, at this time, is when they are very, very intense. The, the noise they make and the volume is just... And they are just too many. Impossible to count. And I mentioned before, we have sparrows as well. They also come here and spend some months or days or weeks. This is probably going to be my only coloring free time until probably 4 p.m. today when I finish everything that I had to finish. And tomorrow there's no time for art. It's just class, writing quiz. When I get home, evaluate the quiz, get ready for Tuesday, and that's it. I'm checking my timing because I want to dedicate more time to the polychromos thing and not this one because that's my that's my thumbnail but anyway I'm going to show you I'm just missing to add yellow in this area and that's it okay all right, so before I go into polychromo, I'm going to tell you what I found. This is from another channel. And when I saw this, this, this is like a month old, probably more. And I know that some of you are into prompts and I found these, and I'm going to show it to you here on the screen. I found these, oh, my lamp is not going to be a lot of help. The channel is called Color with Claire, she's British, and she invented a coloring roulette. And with this one, she combines prompts, mediums, colors, to randomize your next coloring project. This is aimed for coloring books, not necessarily drawing and creating your own. So here you have the instructions and here you have, it's too big, but I'm trying for you to more or less see these. Okay. And this is aimed to break your comfort zone. So there you go. You can share the creations with her. I haven't been able to do anything here, but probably, probably in the next weeks. So and this is the result. These are the pages. And um, what I found really, really interesting is that uh, they are divided in categories, so these are the prompts. I'm going to be able to show everything, but go, we have prompts. And she has got some wild cards. They are in pencil right now, so they are not finished. But they are cool. Oh, I don't know, I think I cut myself a paper. Um, different ones. I'm planning on laminating this after adding 
probably something in the back so I can identify the category. These are the mediums for the coloring books. So there you go. And what I found interesting is uh, the colors. Of course, you're not going to have here 120 shade colors. That's impossible. But you have got three pages for this one to be your main color. Okay. And these are the additional ideas with eight possible wild cards. So remember, this is coloring books. And I think the suggestions are quite interesting. And I decided to add my own complementary colors, complementary division, a triad, a tetrad or rectangle, square, um, mixed media, analogous colors, or as realistic as you can, because over here you have something that is not realistic. -y. So if you are a new colorist and you are not sure about a complementary color, complementary division, try it a tetrad, rectangle, or square. You need to get one of these. Color wheel. You have two sides. This is beans. And this is where you have the information. I'm going to use violet and yellow for some demonstrations that we have here. Okay, so here you have the information. Sorry, I'm giving a lot of lamp there. So here you have uh, this arrow for complementary colors. So if you find yellow, yellow complements violet, then common, uh, complementary division is this first triangle here. So you have yellow, red violet, and blue violet. So you'll be using three colors. A triad is this other triangle. So you have the basic colors mostly. Yellow, red, blue. The tetrad with a rectangle is this one. So we're going to use orange red, green, and blue. And the square tetrad, it's yellow, orange, green, red, and blue, violet. So whatever you move this secondary color, it will change this. And what about the colors that are the analogous colors? Oh, these are very, very easy. Uh, the only thing that you do is that you select one, whatever. I'm going to go for one of my favorites that is 
peel. And this is to use these three, these clothes, but they are close. So simple, no problem. You can use a um, lighter shade, a darker one with more gray, another one with a little bit more gray. Or you can go the other way around and use white to produce pastels. So I think this idea of color by clear is really nice. I'm going to try it and then show you some results. So there we go. And there are like eight pages that if you want to print, you can print. Okay, so let me put these back with the lungs. Okay. This is the, the image that I printed and I cannot remember from where. I'm so sorry if I cannot tell exactly from where. I saw it in a coloring book, but I don't remember if it was Facebook coloring group, if it was Pinterest, uh, I really don't know. I think it was Facebook. So it's artificial intelligence, that's for sure, because it says here, let me put it close to the camera. I'm not a big fan of artificial intelligence, but I was looking for something uh, grayscale and I said, mm, this one looks nice, so let's use it. Hi Barbara, welcome, good morning. And I thought, okay, let's go and try and practice some blending with the polychromos. Uh, this is my swatching. I'm not very fancy uh, colorist with swatches. I just I just don't see um, the worth of spending time with something fancier than this and be there hours just swatching. It's useless for me. So I, all my swatches are like this, basic, plain, small cards. So this is more small cards can go in here. There we go. Inside the pencil case. Bye bye. That's what I do. Very practical. Okay. So this is the black and white image that I have. And I think I have erased the original. So I won't be able to share this one until I try and remember where the, the image was taken from. But this is what I have so far. And I hope you can see this because I still don't have a lot of sunlight. The sun is coming out. I have artificial light here, but I'm going to help you with a close up. The kitty is ready, and of course, it's laser print, and the blacks are with black, with the polychromos black. The rest of the image is still gray, which is normal. Black should be the last one to use. So the little kitty cat is ready. And I have been working with the face. Put some shadows there. So they are ready. Oh, could you hear the plane? just went to another um, 
another direction, but they are taking off. So 6.16 a.m. I already have some of my shadows here, but these are the ones that I use. And it's kind of an ochre, a little bit of white, beige, or peach. Some brown, this is uh, kind of a raw umber, a cream color, and a pink. And these are a little bit harder than the typical Prismacolor and more and more used to Prismacolor because they are creamy and soft. So these are harder. This is recycled paper. So it has got a toot. And I probably won't use the ochre at all. Here we go. I'm going to try and continue with this. I have some raw umber here and pink. This is again lots and lots of patience. Okay. I need also to go and save some battery life of everything. Just use a small circles. Don't push your color so much or you're going to break it. For this is another thing that you can do for bigger areas. By the way, this area has got some cream. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. As I started the forehead last night, but with artificial light, I really don't like coloring that much. It's not the same, even if it's a good light. So another trick. This helps, this grip helps to move faster with other um, brands and you move faster with wax colors like the prisma colors here you barely notice that you are laying pigment and that's why people uh, get desperate with polychromos because they really want them to just lay the pigment fast and that's not the case this one takes time this area is ready to a certain extent. Ooh. Oh, here from my window, I can I can see the planes. I just love watching planes. And you could hear it, right? That was a big one taken off. I don't have my binoculars so I can see the place right now, but it's awesome to see them uh, taken off. Mm, sunlight is about to come from behind the houses in front of my house across from the street. The light I will be coming from this side. Let me point my finger. So the light will be coming 
from this side very very soon still not enough sunlight for me to turn off uh, the lamp that I have here And my birdie friends are still here. They have not gone and find breakfast. So I mentioned that I was going to give some news. Went to the eye doctor, the ophthalmologist yesterday after 15 days of treatment. Everything is going fine, but I'm going to need um, eye drops for the next three months to control this dry eye thing and to keep the internal eye pressure down. It went down, luckily, from 26 to 16. I'm going to need a lot of breaks from the computer screen, mostly. And I'm also going to need some supplements. And I'm going to have those supplements for three months to see if um, they help. I have read studies and I have investigated some videos and so far what I have seen is that yes they do help and also I'm going to be using my essential oils not directly in the eye but around And those supplements, the essential oils, in combination with uh, the drops that the doctor gave me, will perform the miracle. We have seen it in the past. We have testimonies. My mom was a testimony of success. So, I'm confident that Uh, it's gonna be good. Hello Stacy, welcome, good morning. I know it's a bummer with uh, screens, you know, because less watching of streamings. In my case, I have to give um, preference to my job, but I'll be, I'll be working 50, 50 minutes, 10, or in some cases, 45, 15. So that will be enough rest. Eye drops to moisturize and keep the tears in a normal level. And as I said, it'll be, it'll be fine. I have, heard, I have heard testimonies and I have read testimonies of 100% recovery. So I don't think I won't be in that case, especially because I normally what I think, I might I materialize whatever I think. So mindfulness is also important. If you're negative, everything is negative. If you're positive, positive things come. So definitely what I have discovered is that uh, these pencils with these harder lead tear 
very, very good for layering and layering and layering. I have been wishing for a set of polygrammals for years and I have heard of people not liking the colors and then trashing sets of 120 polychromos and I have been like, oh, no, really, you're going to trash them? You're going to just give them away, sell them and not give them a chance? So I was afraid of trying them. So that's why until this year I got them. But I think they are really nice, fine pencils. I haven't sharpened them at all. Well, not that I've been using them much. This is practically it. And my otter that I have not finished. I don't know even where it is. Ah, it's here. Miss Otter is still here. And her nose is still missing. I'm going to take her out. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Really, I really don't have that. I know I complain a lot, but... House chores. And then... Uh, house chores dad that is entering the stubborn stage of his age and then class preparation and grading resting my eyes it's just there's not enough time so i hope i can finish this author i'm just missing the black polychromos here but I'm kind of not in the mood right now to use black. I'm more in skin tone mood right now. Still, the forehead is, is not that big. If you consider the size of the, of the gray printing and the grayscale printing, it's not that big, but... Perfectionism again. Oh, and I've been using I found I think I mentioned it, but I never I never uh, show this to you. I found my magnifier. Oh, there you go. Great. So I'll be using this one as well. Not a live screen of streaming because it produces this very strange optical effect. But when I'm not live, I'll be able to use my looking glass. Oh, and it has got some strips here. So you can hang this around your neck and very comfortably you can color. Okay. Yes, Miriam, get one. I bought it a long time ago on recommendation of a friend and my mom because she wanted one. Uh, but she ended up not using it, so she gave it back to me. And the moment, you know, the moment you, you start losing flexibility in your eye muscles and you start getting, I don't know the name in English, but you probably have a similar name in, in Spanish, it's called presbicia. So it's when you can not read the small print because the muscles just go stiff. They're not flexible enough. So that's why you cannot um, read the small letters. So when that started happening, like more often last year, I was like, hmm, time to try and find this 
magnifier, and I did. My mom had it hidden in one of her um, what was it? I don't know if it was boxes. I don't remember. And then I started using it and then I put it away, I lost it, and then I found it again. I'm a big mess with boxes. I got rid of a lot of things that she didn't use and we were not going to use anymore. I just kept some of her clothes. But most of it just was donated. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of that one. You can see, even though this is artificial light, I'm really going to, um, let's see. Um, this one was wider? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was wider. Uh, you can get to see how the, the color is building in her forehead. It was very white when I started. It's still very white here. But it really, it really builds. Artificial light really doesn't help. But when I um, take a photo and then I'll show this to you later in Instagram, you will be able to see the difference. Okay. So I don't think I'll do more than this. I'll just recommend that you get the material from Claire, Color by Claire, the prompts. Get them so we can have fun in four weeks. And Especially if, if you don't have time like me to um, go and watch the complete stream of Dee Dee. I don't have time anymore. Um, she streams and then I'm getting ready to school and to go to school. And then um, I just don't have time to watch Monday and Wednesday, not anymore. I don't have time to watch Janet as well. I'm teaching at that time. The only stream that I will be watching for 30 minutes will be on Wednesday. I'll be projecting um, Christopher's stream, Christopher Runciman, uh, because uh, he agreed to talk a little bit about creativity in daily life during his Wednesday stream. And that's a topic that I'm going to be giving my students on Wednesday. So when he starts his stream, I'm going to be there and I'll ask my students to join and watch. And in case they have questions, they'll be using the chat. But he'll be probably talking the first 20 minutes about creativity. I cannot do anything. 30 minutes the maximum I can allow my students to go on wonder on YouTube and then after listening to Christopher they'll be asked to answer some questions related to what he said so that's going to be interesting that's going to be very interesting because you know Christopher is very fun he likes to have voices and things like that and his humor is I think suitable for my students and that's it that's why i don't have time to watch streams then in the afternoon you have for example beth or sometimes beth is with becca and dana and, and those wonderful people and well i'm just evaluating i'm marking preparing lessons so i could be listening in the background certainly not interacting in the chats
Okay. And that's exactly what I want, Barbara. I want my students to be able to listen to real native speakers because uh, my accent is not necessarily from a native speaker, so they should go and uh, listen to, to real people. Uh, so they face reality, you know, it's like, oh, can I really understand a native speaker or do I really need to do more work? And that's exactly what I want. I want uh, them to have that opportunity. And some people are shy and they really don't want to interact with the students, but Christopher said yes. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. I'm really thankful. Last year, uh, Rachel, Rachel Fleming gave a small lecture to my students, so that was also really good. And my students loved her. Some of them even asked uh, for her email to be interacting with her because they're interested in moving to Canada for master degree studies or diploma courses. So they really wanted a little bit of insight on house life in Canada. Okay. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to stop here. So you can have time to have a break before Miriam goes on. This is how it looks. For me, it will be um, time to go finish fixing breakfast and then start evaluating videos. I'll probably be entering your stream, Miriam, uh, but I'll probably be dropping because I really want to finish the, the video. So I'll probably be there in the first 30 minutes, but then after that, I'll probably just drop and, and go and do something else. Okay. I turned off the lamp because I have enough uh, natural light right now, so you can get to see this. But it looks really nice in natural light. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you later at Miriam's stream. So take care. Have a nice Sunday and see you around. Bye.